As the name suggests, the Common Data Environment brings all of the data required from a pro for a project into a single repository. So that you know that when you look at that data, you're looking at the latest version. You can go back and look at previous versions if you need to, make comparisons, you can see what's changed between a version and the latest version. We're controlling where that data is being shared to. Our clients who are embracing a common data environment are seeing greater efficiencies in the way that they can control their data. With the, um, the CDE model as opposed to the federated model, we're really just um, reducing the risk of working with the wrong data set. The trouble with the federated model on your own server is that people import things, um, the engineer might issue another model, it doesn't actually get brought into your model. With CDE, it's managed and controlled in the cloud, so when a consultant issues a model, that issue is uh, controlled, there's a, a date and a revision, etc. Uh, you know that you're using the latest model. It's embedded in the CDE as intelligent metadata, not the traditional review of the sheets where we are just replacing the red pen markup that we do with a printout and we're just doing it on a PDF. We're actually using intelligent BIM data or information and model information of the tags and issues to instruct users to make changes and update the model in a common data environment. That's certainly what BIM Collab Pro is beginning to do and a lot of the tools in there will benefit architects, contractors, and, and consultants.